Hey, welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be talking about the fact that Breitling has pulled out of the Basel World Fair of 2020. But before we get into that, if you haven't already, and I say it every video, like this video and subscribe to our channel. We create watch content about just about anything. So um, if you're interested in, in consuming more watch content, Life on the Wrist is the place to be. Um, ironically, I'm actually wearing a Breitling Top Time from 1965, which is kind of apt for this video, it works perfect. Um, it has a really cool story if you haven't uh, read it on our site. Um, I'll put a link in the description to it. Um, this is for sale, so if you're interested, let me know. We'd love to talk to you about the watch. Um, so back to the content at hand, Breitling has decided to pull out of 2020 Basel World Fair. Um, they did attend the 2019 Basel World Fair, and according to the CEO's press release, they had a very successful time. Obviously that means that they communicated their message for their watches for that year well, and that ultimately led to sales, um, which is the purpose of Basel World. Um, but the CEO of Breitling, Georges Kern, um, announced around mid-April, so about three weeks ago when this video will be released, that they will not be attending Basel World of 2020. This was not because he felt that the show was going down. In fact, he only had praise to say about the new management. He said that the experience-driven um, movement to try and make Basel World a little bit more experience-driven is a good thing and is allowing people to come into Basel World and experience watches and not just focus on trying to sell them. It gets a lot more people involved in this hobby and grows art in the industry um, that much more. Um, he just felt that the dates of Basel World um, were too late in the year. The Basel World 2020 will be taking place the first week in May, which means you already means watch companies have already gone through about five um, five months of, of uh, five months where they haven't sold where they, where they haven't released any of their new watches or at least are not supposed to release any new watches or I guess that's kind of dependent on them. But um, five months in is quite a long time to wait before you can show your releases for that year. So Breitling decided instead of attending Basel World, they're going to be holding their Bright a Breitling Summit where they communicate and attempt, attempt to sell their new watches. I think that would be a very cool show for you to attend if you're in the area and interested in Breitling. Um, they were the longest standing independent watch company that or independent from a conglomerate watch company. So they've been recently bought by a private equity firm, but Having the Breitling Summit is going to be really cool. They're probably going to create some really cool pieces. It's going to be a really cool environment that's Breitling focused as opposed to jumping around between brands like Basel World. So it'll be a very cool event if you're interested in attending. Um, and what's cool is they, uh, the CEO, George Kern, did not um, did not say that that will, will be the only thing that they will be attending for the rest of the rest of time. They said that they would reevaluate whether they would attend Basel World in 2021 but for 2020, they will be holding their Brightening Summit. So the real question is, why is Basel World at a later date? It doesn't really make sense to me and perhaps to a lot of you guys. So um, Basel World and SIHH decided to coordinate the days that they would hold their um, festivals, or festivals, hold their fairs so that visitors to Switzerland can attend both events at the same time at the same trip instead of having to choose one or the other. As we know, we are all so very busy, it's hard to attend two uh, watch fairs at the same time, especially if we do not live in the, in the nearby cities. Um, they have coordinated the, the, these dates from 2020 all the way out to 2024, which means you can expect Basel World and SIJ to attend around the same time, but be later in the year around May. I know that, I believe that when they were negotiating, trying to figure out when the day was, neither fair wanted to move to the other um, move towards the other fair's dates so they just came out with a completely new date um, this leads us to the question do we think that a lot of more watch companies will jump um, this is a very interesting question i've i, I think basel world i made a video about how basel world um, if basel world was dying i think there's great opportunity for other watch companies to get into basel world um, there were only about 520 watch companies that attended this last year um, but it seems as if people have positive th things to say about the new management and the direction that Basel World is going under this new management, um, creating a more experience-driven environment for people to come in and, and enjoy the watches. So I don't, I don't envision a lot more companies jumping just because one big name has jumped. Um, 
as I said, you know, management has stated that there were 520 watch companies that attended. They're hoping to see between 600 and 700 watch companies attend this next year. So I guess we'll find out. We'll, we'll see what happens this next year. I don't think it's the end of the world yet. It sucks to lose a name like Breitling, but they are reevaluating in that next year. They'll probably look at whether or not the Breitling Summit was a success, whether or not um, they made their sales uh, targets, that, that type of thing, those types of kind of criteria, and then see if they want to attend Basel World. Who knows, perhaps next year's Basel World is going to be the biggest, biggest success and um, Breitling is going to feel really dumb for not attending. Who knows, you know, I guess they will reevaluate once, once that time comes, but for now, they will not be attending Basel World of 2020. They will be holding the Breitling Summit and Regardless of, of your opinions of Basel World, I still think Breitling um, will have a great time at their Breitling Summit. And I think Basel World has this opportunity to move forward and, and is doing so um, in the right direction. So if you enjoyed this video and you've made it this far, make sure you like this video. If you didn't do it at the beginning of the video, let me know in the comments what you think about Breitling jumping out of uh, Basel World for this one year. Do you think moving the dates was a bad thing? Uh, we'd love to hear, hear, about, hear what you guys think and talk to you guys about what about um, your opinions um, and on that note hope you guys have a nice rest of your day